Tech coming to you from Saskatchewan here today. And you know, it's been a while since I've done a toonie. You know, where you get $2 worth of my opinions because two cents don't buy very much anymore. Now, you all know a toonie. Old Quick Dick likes to get a little belligerent and swear and get a little bit shouty. So don't be shocked if there's a little bit of language in this video. And for those of you that have been following along with my Save It or Shave It campaign, do you want to guess who won? Anyways, this is going to be a pretty fun video because uh, you'll actually get to see how long it takes me to do productions because I got a couple of clips from before and after in this one. So anyways, let's go! There's just so much going on in this country right now, I just couldn't seem to pick one sole topic to focus on. And it seems like anytime I hear anything that's going on in the news right now, I have one common thought come to my mind. You gotta be shitting me. I like it. You gotta be shitting me, not a toonie. Let's go with that. The Canadian government urges farmers to grow more food. You gotta be shitting me. The same government that's trying to cut fertilizer use by 30% just jacked the carbon tax on us another 10 bucks a ton in April and is trying to take it all the way to 170 bucks a ton. Same government that makes it borderline criminal to get a pipeline approved in Canada while we all sit here and wait for grain cars to show up at elevators so we can deliver our product while waiting at a railroad crossing watching a fucking oil train go by. to get some fertilizer so we can go see it because the sun's finally shining but no let's wait for this canadian pipeline to roll on by here what alice in fucking wonderland fairy tale world are you elite bastards living in do you think we're all just sitting around on three thousand extra acres of land with inputs personnel and equipment to just be like oh i just wish i had a good reason to put all this to use you think we're just gonna reach up our ass and pull it out of there earth to the canadian government the goal of all businesses, including agriculture, is to maximize outputs with minimum inputs. But I guess when this goofball is your boss... You'll forgive me if I don't think about monetary policy. I wouldn't expect you to know that. Listen, if you really want us to grow more food, the best thing that you can do is to stop having people that have never set foot on a farm write policies for us, get rid of your garbage carbon tax, and just step out of the way and let us do our thing. We will let you know if we need anything. Stephen Gibo, the Minister of Environment and Climate Change, issues Labatt Brewing Company a quarter of a million dollar grant. You gotta be shitting me. We all know who Stephen Gibo is, right? Former Greenpeace activist, now one of King Trudeau's henchmen. Sorry, hench people kind. Who looks like a cracked out version of Where's Waldo who took off the beanie and striped shirt and put on a cheap shitty suit. And we all know who Labatt's is, right? A subsidiary of Anheuser-Busch who reported $53 billion in North American profits last year. And get this, they want to replace diesel-fired boilers with propane ones. We pay a carbon tax on propane to dry our grain, and you are gonna take those carbon tax dollars and you are going to give them to a company that reported $53 billion in profits last year. This is a company that makes beer that tastes like hot cat piss that has sat in the sun for seven days, and you're just gonna funnel our tax dollars away at them. How does that feel? Your carbon tax dollars go to multi-billion dollar corporations that really don't need it. The only thing I could recommend that you would do in situations like this, aside from never ever voting for Justin Trudeau ever again, would be to boycott places like Labatt's or Molson, you know, the guys that make pills in there that went woke and changed their labels. Go to places like Rafter R in Maple Creek, or go to Rebellion or Pile of Bones in Regina, or go to Fourth Meridian in Lloyd Minster if you're anywhere in Saskatchewan, get yourself a great Western product. Support local breweries and tell these big corporate breweries that are sucking off the government teeth that they can pound sand in their beer's piss anyways. Don't look at me like you've never had a toilet beer before. Because of second year in a row surplus, SGI issues $100 rebates per owner per vehicle. You gotta be shitting me. And for those of you that don't know what SGI stands for, it stands for Saskatchewan Government Insurance. The only place in Saskatchewan you're allowed to insure your vehicle at astronomical rates. <laughs> Let me see if I got this straight. 
your solution to the surplus is to print off a check and put it in a paper envelope, then hand it off to another crown corporation, this time a federal one called Canada Post, run it through their train wreck of a system, then I have to get in my pickup truck, drive 10 miles to the post office, then to the bank, deposit it, and they're eventually just gonna put it through a paper shredder anyways. I've got a better idea. Why don't we convert those $100 checks over into beaver pelts, load them in a canoe, and paddle them over to us? That sounds just as efficient. Or we can just credit that $100 to my next insurance renewal. I will be coming back. It's not like I have an option to go anywhere else. Oh, I know why. Because when you put 100 bucks up against $1,000 a year, you charge me for insurance on a pickup that's worth $1,500. Nobody's really going to notice. But for some reason, when you send somebody a paper check in the mail, they all get frisky in the pants thinking that they won the lotto or something. What's the cost of issuing 600,000 checks and mailing them via Canada Post? A buck? A buck fifty? Guess what? That's 600 to $900,000. Almost a million bucks. Can you not just credit it to our accounts? You can't even make this shit up, folks. This is Quick Dick McDick signing off, reminding you, whenever you read the news, as dumb as it may be, it always makes you feel better to say, you, you gotta, gotta be, be shitting me. me. We'll catch you next time. Fun, hey folks. Hey, uh, just a big thanks out to everybody that uh, donated to the Save It or Shave It uh, campaign that I was running there uh, with Otten Brates. Uh, everything went down on Saturday. It was awesome. There's so many cool people that came out uh, and were a part of it. Uh, total raised was around $67,000 for the Cancer Foundation of Saskatchewan. So thanks so much to everybody uh, that donated and had some fun with it. And if uh, you want to catch a live show of mine, I'm going to be at the uh, oil show down in Weyburn on the 1st of June, which is actually right close here. That's this Wednesday. I'm going to be in Maidstone uh, doing a show there on the 10th of June, and I'm going to be in Maple Creek, Saskatchewan doing a show there on the 11th of June. So if you want to come catch a quick dick comedy show live, uh, I've got uh, ticket information where you can get a hold of people and, uh, and get booked for what seats are left in the description of this video. And... Go out there and uh, have an awesome day. Don't worry, the beard grows back quick, all right? Catch you next time.